In this video, I'm going to solve d2y by dx squared, take away dy by dx, take away 20y, is equal to 9e to the 5x, take away 18e to the minus 4x. So first of all, the auxiliary equation would be m squared, take away m, take away 20, is equal to 0. Now this factorises to m take away 5, m plus 4 is equal to 0. So either m is equal to 5 or m is equal to minus 4. So the complementary function would be y is equal to some constant c1 e to the 5x plus some constant c2 e to the minus 4x. And that solves the homogeneous case where we've got equals 0 on the right hand side. OK, so we've got that part. Now we're going to have to come up with a trial function that works with this right hand side. Now the first thing to note is we've got a sum of terms here, sum of functions, and so our trial function should be a sum of functions as well. You might immediately be leaping into right, it's going to be y is equal to a e to the 5x plus b e to the minus 4x. The problem with that is that that is actually precisely what we've got here. So all you're going to get when you do that is you're going to get 0. Okay? You're going to try and substitute that in, and you'll end up getting 0. You're, it won't tell you anything. Okay? So that's no good. So this is one of those special cases where our trial function, we want to be, um, well, we want the trial function to be what is exactly the same as what we've got in the complementary function. So we can't have that. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to have to have ax e to the 5x and bx e to the minus 4x. OK. Right, so now we're going to have to find dy by dx and d2y by dx squared. Now that's going to involve using the product rule here. So dy by dx is going to be equal to... We've got ax times the derivative of e to the 5x. So 5ax e to the 5x plus e to the 5x times the derivative of ax. So a e to the 5x. Then we differentiate this. So we're going to get take away 4bx e to the minus 4x plus uh, b e to the minus 4x. Right. Now we're going to differentiate again. So d2y by dx squared would be equal to... So product rule on this term, 25ax e to the 5x plus 5a e to the 5x. This term will differentiate to 5a e to the 5x. Then we've got this term differentiating using the product rule. So we're going to get plus 16bx e to the minus 4x. Then take away 4b e to the minus 4x. And then this differentiates to minus 4b e to the minus 4x. So let's tidy this up. We've got the 25ax e to the 5x plus 10a e to the 5x plus 16bx e to the minus 4x. Take away 8b e to the minus 4x. Oh, right, OK, so we've got our pieces. Now we can put them in. OK, so I might have to do it down here because I'm going to run out of space otherwise. So we've got the d2y by dx squared, 25ax e to the 5x plus 10ae to the 5x plus 16bx e to the minus 4x. Take away 8be to the minus 4x. That's that bit. Take away the dy by dx. So take away all of this. So take away 5ax e to the 5x 
take away a e to the 5x plus 4bx e to the minus 4x take away b e to the minus 4x. Then we've got take away 20 lots of that. So take away 20ax e to the 5x plus, sorry, take away, always almost made an error there, 20bx e to the minus 4x. And that's got to be equal to the 9e to the 5x take away 18e to the minus 4x. Lovely. Okay. So, let's see what we've got. Do we have any cancellations? Right. We've got a 25AX e to the 5X. Take away 5AX e to the 5X. Take away 20AX e to the 5X. So they're all gone. That's good news. We've got the 16BX e to the 4, minus 4X, plus 4BEX e to the minus 4X. Take away 20BX e to the minus 4X. So they're all gone. Excellent. Okay. What we've got left is 10A e to the 5X. Take away A e to the 5X. So that would be 9A e to the 5X. Then we've got minus 8b e to the minus 4x. Take away b e to the minus 4x. So we've got take away 9 b e to the minus 4x. And this has got to be equal to the 9 e to the 5x and the minus 18 e to the minus 4x. So comparing coefficients, the 9a has got to be equal to the 9. So that means that a is 1. And the minus 9b has got to be equal to the minus 18. So that means that b has got to be equal to 2. So we now have the particular integral. So we can add that on. So plus 1 lot of x e to the 5x. And then plus 2 lots of x e to the minus 4x. And that is the general solution to my second order differential equation.